Hi, I'm Frédéric from Waldorf Music. I'm an hardware engineer there. So I'm going to present you today the two-pole analog filter. So this box is the same size as the rocket and it contains the same filter. So it's 12 dB per octave filter. You got low pass, burn pass, high pass. And you got some additional distortion unit, one before the filter, which is a rectifier, and one after, which is an overdrive circuit. So what's really interesting with this box is you got this section, which is really complex and really interesting to use. It's uh, at the same time an envelope follower and an envelope generator with some triggering system uh, with different sources. And if it's not enough for you to make some modulation of the filter, you get also some LFO, which can range from very slow to slow to fast right in the audio range. And you have as connection an input for the input signal, output, and some different control voltage, which can also be some audio signal, or you can also connect some uh, foot pedal to it. So one which goes directly to the envelope, one comes to uh, the cutoff frequency of the filter, and one gate for triggering the envelope. So I'm going to show you some different, some examples. So we are listening at the moment to uh, the clean signal, and we're going to try out the filter. So this is low pass. This is burn pass. This is high pass. What's really amazing with this box is when you start to synchronize the box with uh, the signal. So we're gonna set the trigger level. So we pick up the beat here. So we got it. Set a little bit of length. And now we're gonna open the filter with this. So listen, let's listen now to uh, the different distortion. So here is the other drive. Here is the rectifier. So the, the rectifier, what exactly is the rectifier? What does that do? The rectifier basically takes the signal and takes the negative uh, part of the signal and put it into positive. So if you have a kind of a sine signal or uh, a pure tone, you will get one octave upper. So it kind of translates the pitch. If you have a very complex signal, it works more like a distortion bringing some noise to the original signal. Overdrive, a diode overdrive, so it raised again until the diode smoothly clipped the signal. And what's this the source switch? Okay, so actually the envelopes are really simple because it, they contain only an attack and a decay phase, but it works great when you set up with the threshold level because this threshold uh, trigger system will actually start the envelope and stop the envelope when, when you want. So basically you set the level, so when the signal gets up of this level, the envelope starts and it stays into an uh, open state until the whole time finish and then it goes down. When you are in this mode, you actually bypass the trigger and this is just an envelope follower. So depending on the type, it will track more or less the amplitude of the signal. And this is to drive the filter and the cutoff frequency of it. So the two-pole filter box will be available normally in two months and will cost around $250 or 